How's it going, everybody? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today. As always, hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. So today we are going to focus on the strongest legends in Brawlhalla. And of course, I'm talking about legends with the highest strength stat in the game. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start it out with the highest strength legend, which is Zul. Zul has 9 strength by default, and we're going to go ahead and up that to 10 strength. So far, Brahola, Zul's the only character that can go to 10 strength, so that's pretty cool. Up next, we have Petra. Petra has 8 strength by, def uh, by default. <laughs> We're gonna up that to 9 strength. And then next, we have Scarlet, who also has 8 strength. And we're also going to up that to 9. I think you guys get the point. We're going to up the strength every single time. And we're going to pick the legends with the highest strength going down the list. Until, uh, until we feel like we've had enough. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy. Please drop a like if you do. Side sig that like button. Or neutral sig or down sig. It don't matter. You can down sig the like button too. That works. These kind of videos are always fun to do. Uh, I've done videos with like the highest uh, dexterity, the lowest dexterity, all these kind of fun things. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. If you are a main of any of these legends that I'm using, any of these high strength legends, let me know in the comments below. I'd be interested to know who likes these legends. I, I like a lot of them, but to be honest, I'm more of a speed legend type of player. So I don't typically play these high hitting you know, strong, strong type of legends. But, when I do play them, it's always a blast. Oh, I picked up my sword! Oh, I should've just went back for the wall instead of trying to side air. Alright, he took first stock. Zol, 10 strength, didn't even matter. Too much strength. Oh my goodness, this Azuri is actually popping off. We're gonna have to put her in place. Wow, she actually got over me. Ah, <laughs> you can charge at me all you want, Azuri. I'm just gonna throw a fireball right in your face. Oh! Goodbye, Jala! That was a zero to death, I'm pretty sure. We just destroyed that Jala. And we came back with the lead. Okay, she's got Diana now. Is Petra gonna carry us all the way? I think she might. Oh, never mind the reversal. All right, Scarlet is here. Scarlet is probably one of the most popular high strength legends. And for good reason. She has very good weapons, very good signatures. Oh my goodness, Scarlet. You're not going to lose this game for us, right? Nope. <laughs> Too much strength. GG dude, GG. I feel like we didn't really get to play uh, Zul very much, but... Oh well, Zul... You know, Zul's a good legend, and honestly... Just because I play Zul bad doesn't mean that Zul's a bad legend. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> so don't, don't think that. Alright, we're going to keep it going with... Taros. Taros has 7 strength by default. We're going to up it... I'm sorry, eight. We're gonna up it to nine. Then we have Azoth, and I've had a lot of people asking me to play Azoth lately, so I feel like I need to do a dedicated Azoth video, but in the meantime, we're gonna play eight strength Azoth. That's the most that he can do. And then we have, surprisingly, Caspian. Did you guys know that Caspian is one of the highest strength legends? Neither did I, but apparently <laughs> he is. So we're gonna play Black Plague Doctor. 
eight strength Caspian. Can you imagine eight strength Katars? I'm actually looking forward to doing that. I don't know about you guys, but when I think of Brawlhalla legends that have a lot of strength, the first legends that come to mind are legends that have like hammer or axe, you know, like very strong weapons. You don't think of Katars or Gauntlet, so, you know, Petra or Caspian is actually kind of an interesting pick. All right, here we go, Roman Reigns. Oh man, that Taros neutral sig. It's just so devastating. And of course, all of Taros sigs are devastating. Do you like my, uh, my busted sign axe? And then I also have the busted sign hammer. <laughs> Oh, I love that side sig on Taros. All right, fate. Oh my goodness. Taros is just such a bully with these weapons. You might not like fighting a Taros, but when you're actually using Taros, he's a fun legend. That's basically how I am. Alright, I don't know if he's lagging or or what. Should I let him attack me first? Alright, maybe not. I can't tell if he wants me to attack or if he wants to attack. Like, GG dude, GG. <laughs> I gave him an opening to attack and he just kind of chilled in the corner and danced. I respect it. <laughs> All right, we three stocked with Taros, so we're gonna have to skip Taros and go straight to Azoth and then to Caspian. Wait, where's my Plague Doctor? There we go. Okay. And then uh, we're gonna go Cross. Cross is another high strength legend most people don't think of, but Cross actually has eight strength when you max out his strength stat. Pretty awesome. All right, here we go. Now, this is I, I look at this match as a warm-up or practice or training for Azoth, because I actually do want to make an Azoth dedicated video, but since we're only playing uh, Azoth in Strikeout here, there's a chance that I might not even get to use Azoth for a full match, let alone a full video here, so definitely not going to do the full video. I should have done down sig there. Oh! The one thing about cannon I never really enjoyed was that it's kind of hard to get back onto stage, I feel like. Ouch, that hurt. Azoth has a lot of defense, so that's one of the good things about him. Oh, okay. Here we go, here we go. Execute! Ah, oh. Execute! I love doing that! <laughs> it's such a fast side sig, because considering like most legends have really slow side sigs, and it just destroys. Look at his side sig compared to mine, like... It's just so slow. I feel bad for Isaiah, because he, he has really good neutral sig, though. Ooh! Yeah, that's a three stock with Azoth. Maybe we're, we're already warmed up with Azoth. Maybe I don't need any more training. That's just, that's just a little taste of what's to come in an Azoth video. <laughs> Alright, finally we can get to Plague Knight. Uh, there we go. And then we're gonna go cross. And then next on the list is actually a legend that we just fought, and that is Fate. Fate has surprisingly high strength for being a Scythe legend. Let's go Metadev Fate, and we'll go Strength Stance, and this time let's go Gala Colors. Why not? All right, going against Heart. He's got Tai Lung, Reno, and Onyx. Three of the, you know, pretty popular legends, I guess. Here we 
go. All right, finally, we get to try out these eight strength katars, guys. Eight strength katars. Oh my goodness, this site is gonna be. So hard, but we can come back. We can come back and we will. Alright, he may have popped the weapon out of our hands, but that's okay. Oh, I meant to do a down sig and I did a down light. Oh, feels bad Caspian. Goodbye. Alright, we have cross now. Not a problem. Oh, <laughs> I love chasing people. They're just like caught in that action, they realize that it's completely futile. Doing pretty good against Reno here. Oh yeah. Nope. Oh. Oh, what a beautiful neutral sig. Dang, that was a nice play. All right, Fate's one of my better legends, so I, I'm hoping that we can win with this. There we go. Goodbye. Man. Fate's one of my better legends, but I haven't really played her that much, like, recently, so we'll see how I do. GG dude, GG! Man, that was a good fight. Well played dude, well played. That was the best fight so far. Alright guys, well unfortunately it's a little bit shorter of an episode today, but I do have to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed the Strength Legends. Let me know if you did, and uh, be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. As always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy, friends.